again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard playing with dirty flip cups and basting brushes and things I haven't played for to play, played with <laughs> together for a while. And I want to cover my canvas with black paint. I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula for that. I don't know what's going to come of this, but I'm going to try something. I'm not even sure about the dirty flip cup to tell you the truth. But I want to spread some colors in a circle, and I wonder if I have something I can put down in the middle that's clean. That's a big if. Hey, that'll work. I was just mixing paint earlier, and I was using my yogurt, my aluminum foil yogurt lids to hold up the strainer. It didn't really work all that well, but it, uh, it worked better than nothing. All right, so hopefully, I'll have enough paint, even though it's 100 degrees under here. It'll stay moist for a while. I'm trying to get every bit as close to the edge as I can without making the canvas naked, and I guess I probably shouldn't worry about it because I have a somewhat thick layer. As long as I'm fast, it should be okay. That spatula is going in the bucket, and the other one is over there, my backup. I have two, and what I'm going to do I was going to put that in the middle. Am I? Really? Well, I've got a handle on it. <laughs> I'll just fix my middle if I need to. So I'm going to do... What I used to do sometimes, and put some paint down around the center. And now that I've got my... I can't use that neon pink because it won't work. On black. But I'm thinking about using skewers and or the basting brush. Let me see if that's somewhat, that is somewhat central. <laughs> we can hope. Might just be pretty the way it winds up after I squeeze a bunch of paint on. But I'm probably not going to keep it. Let's get that out of there. That wasn't too bad of an idea actually because it was bent up like that. It didn't really stick. I feel like sometime I should do this and um, put down one row and pull it out, put down another row and pull it out. So let's just take what we've got. Oh, we can. I want to save that paint that I've got in that little container there. What can I put on it? I can put that plate on it. Okay, so let's grab what? What color? That's not going to work. Um, I need a lighter color or a darker color or any other color. What other color? I think this is a similar color to that other color, but it's not the same. So that'll work. That's that color that always makes me want orange to go with it. But I don't know what orange would do on black. I guess we could find that out together. I know it looks good if you don't mix it too much. That's just really pretty right the way it is. I shouldn't do anything to that. What I really want to do is take my fork to it, but I think it'll be, get glopped up. So. I was going to take my skewer to it, and I'm going to start that way, because that's the way I always started before. All right, so if I go from the corner, and move along at a similar pace, and get my paint out of the way. It's been a long time coming, this, because I haven't really done, the, I haven't really tried to do the wreath again, and I didn't do it exactly like this the first time anyway, but I don't think it matters as long as I keep pulling. And if I want another layer at the end, I can add in one more round of dots and use the basting brush, I guess. I am just sort of slowing down and making sure to make as many marks to fill in as possible. I haven't put that orange I was threatening in yet, and I'm still thinking about it. Once I put the orange in, anything it mixes with has a tendency to go brown. 
I've also got copper. I'm thinking that it might be nice to put some blue in the center. Usually I would lately, more, more often than not, use a basting brush to pull all these marks out. But it gives a different effect if they're not all repeated like the basting brush will do. And I like the little hearts that the pink is making, but I don't really want hearts in there, so I'm not going to keep them. I don't want to go so far that I've ruined it. I've, sometimes I feel like I've already gone past the point where it was really cool. But it started really cool anyway, so we passed that point a long time ago. And uh, I want to make sure, as I'm agitating this, that I give myself a chance to use the torch in a minute. I want some of that blue. Where is that blue? That blue is right here. And I'm going to do it right in there. As quick as a bunny. Doesn't have to be perfect. I still want the orange. What are you going to do? Boy, that's risky. I've got this teal. I don't think it's bright enough. Let's see. I must have some lighter blue around here somewhere. Let's do that. And I don't have to pull these dots if I don't want to. So nobody's making up any rules. I do what I do because I can, and that's the name of my book on the Amazon link underneath show more underneath the video. I still want the orange. All right, so I'm going to try and be a little cautious, and boy, oh boy, that's just scary. The orange and the pink are what look good together, so... Oh, I got some already. Whoops. I got more than I bargained, bargained for. So let's just do that. I'm glad it doesn't look bad. It's too bad it's in the gold. But that's okay. Actually, I kind of like that. It may lead me um, down the road to do more things like this. Hey, that's not supposed to be in there. Come out. Whoa. It was also plugging. It was keeping excess from coming out. Come on, it's too hot. Don't keep doing that. All right, so that's neat. I'm happy with that, but I think that's demanding, especially this. Well, I don't know. I don't... Those dribbles disturbed me. <laughs> I like the dots better than the dribbles. I think we might be in for some white pearl. I'm not dragging through everything, just a few things. And I'm pretty sure if I don't like it, I can fix it with some other color. I'm feeling kind of hurried, but we got plenty of time left. Ooh, I started dragging out my orange. Okay. I guess in for penny, in for pound. Let's see if I can keep from forgetting anything as I go along. It's kind of pretty. I like it. It's every bit as, at least as good as I was hoping for. It's hard to screw up beautiful iridescent shimmering colors, to tell you the truth. I didn't want to overdose on the... I love the, the basing brush, don't get me wrong, but I didn't want to overdose on it. And I didn't mess with my blue dots, and I could. I kind of want to put... Can I get away with that? I think I need to use a small container. I wish there was a clean one. Everything is covered with Florida grime because I'm outside and I don't move everything in, just my paints. All right, that's clean-ish. And I've got a large lump of paint on the end that's dry there, so that should help me. Add a dot to the blue. Whether it'll all stay or not, we don't know yet. Doesn't have to be perfect, and it's not. If you have more time than I do, and you probably do, you're inside while your paint isn't drying like amazingly fast. Yes, I'm filling in in between. Because I can. I do what I want because I can. Nobody's here to tell me I can't, really. That's the, that's the real reason. Nobody's here to say, don't do that. But I can hear you guys sometimes. Don't do that. And then I do it anyway, and you go, hey, it was okay after all. <laughs> Which is cool. I love you guys' comments. You're so funny. You crack me up. 
here I return the favor sometimes. All right, so that's kind of cool. Um, do I need anything else in there? I don't know. I'm thinking. I kind of want that white. But what am I going to do with it once I've got it? Ah, oh, da dum da dum da dum da dum. All right, it's going in. Let's see if I can make a cohesive circle that goes right around. I guess you've got to have some circle skills or a turntable that sort of keeps you on track a little bit. There's no guarantee this will work and if it doesn't I've got my skewer. I've also got the chain. If I, if I looped up a ball chain I could probably pull that out. I could probably pull that out anyway. Ooh, I've got a dirty ball chain. That sounded really bad. Okay then, I'm going to go ahead and try this. That's going to take a long time. I'm going to, I'm going to loop it and hope I can go back and forth and then I've got a few spares. And then I don't mind the residual I'm obviously going to get. And the cool thing about that is if the white wasn't all at the same place, I'm going to get that schmutz off there, start over. It'll camouflage anything that's not perfect at this point. I do like the dots though. I, th I think if I thought about it a little bit longer, although I want one who I'm so risking everything by using my left hand to do that. I am not left-handed. And I'm going to have to keep remembering to wipe that chain off because I'm picking up black paint. It's looking more and look more like feathers to me, and I like that. So maybe I'll just skip along every other one. And then go back. Pick up anything I missed. That'll make me feel like I'm making pro more progress quicker. I'm going to have to cool my camera off after this because I was impatient and came out before it was cool. Yeah, I like the feathery strokes. And the fact that I can go back and forth in both directions. That's definitely cool. Feathery wreath. wreath. Bird of Paradise Feathers. Very cool. I'm happy. I'm surprised. Well, not that surprised, but I'm surprised just the same. I like being surprised. <laughs> so if somebody shows up at the front door and I'm not ready. Um, yeah, I got visitors tomorrow. Somebody's doing their class project on galleries and they got permission from their teacher to come and see me. Go figure. That's pretty cool. All right, so I think we're just about done, which means as I slowly finalize whatever else I'm going to do here, including torching, and making any final decisions. Um, I like everything I've got, even the unevenness of the center. I'm going to have to touch up my edges with black, but that's okay. That's par for the course. So shop my Amazon link underneath show more under the video. Yeah, I can still poke a skewer in there anywhere I want and get away with it because it's uh, just that abstract. And I like, I like it. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. And if we're lucky, we release some patterns in the paint, like so. Because there's deco art pouring medium and flow troll mixed. After I mix my two parts GAC 800 from Golden to keep the paint from cracking with eight parts paint, then I mix a half and half mixture of flow troll and deco art pouring medium with that. And I mix it in bottles and I shake it up with a marble and I'm pretty happy with all that. And I'm going to be here for a little bit fixing up corners and the edges to make sure that no white canvas is showing, but I don't want to do that while you're here. But on the last 20 seconds of the end screens of this particular video, and yeah, I should probably cover that up, um, cover those edges while I talk to you, you'll find uh, a playlist of over 700 videos. I need to find a container to put some paint in, and I'm going to stick my finger in it because I don't want to take a chance on not sticking my finger in it. I want to look at everywhere I'm dabbing, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to pull a skewer over something. Anyway, I'm doing this, and you can hopefully see up close and personal what's there now. And because the chain loops weren't, um, yes, I've interrupted myself two or three times now, um, because they weren't, weren't really thin at the very ends, 
it sort of end at the edge of the canvas and it doesn't look as, uh, what's a better word than unsettling? <laughs> it doesn't look more wrong. Um, anyway, so this is, uh, this is my modern day wreath. This is a throwback and a takeoff and something new and something old put together. Done with uh, bamboo skewers, which is what I used to do, and dots of paint. It sort of combines my two favorite old spirals. They're way back, way back at the beginning on the playlist. If you look for them, you'll find them. One has seen by, is like incredible, seen by so many people. More people than I have a, an idea of. Anyway, so the end screens have a place to subscribe and my website you can visit. If you go under the video, under show more, you're going to find my Pinterest and Instagram links. And you're going to find links to uh, at least Facebook volumes, but I don't think they're working now. So if you're looking for the groups on Facebook, one is Facebook, uh, excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation, that's for students. And the other one is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. And you may have to join both of them. Fans and Collectors is what it sounds like. It's for fans and collectors. And um, when you join, you can find the volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Facebook, excuse me, of YouTube, Wet and Dry Artworks from the videos. If you're interested in my book, it's the first hundred videos and the tools and the props processes as I made them for you. Uh, for <laughs> ah, I can't talk anymore. As I made them for YouTube right out of the gate. Um, some of them are a lot more primitive, but some of them are still going to, you know, share information that you'll find valuable. And uh, I've used just about the right amount of paint on, in my cup so that I could get all of my edges and still talk to you guys. And... Um, this might be boring. I'm sure somebody's tuned out by now. Maybe I would have. So I can't blame you for that. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to place my videos in places where more people can see me, find my videos. And uh, I have over 70,000 subscribers and I love you guys, all of you. Plus, you give me great compliments and, and, and boost, my, uh, boost my confidence on days when I need a little boost. Because uh, I'm not always making a living, but uh, I'm always making art and that's because of you guys. So. The longer you watch a video and the more thumbs up you give me, the more likelihood there is of me continuing on making art for you guys and posting a video every day. I do try. I can never catch up. But um, I think I said most things other than there's a contest running, and if you want to look for the contest, it's on an exhibition of 10x10s this particular month. But there will always be a contest running for contributors to the studio through PayPal or Patreon. My edges are now covered, and my artwork is still level and there's that space over here that's kind of bugging me but that's mostly the paint drying and I don't think it's that obnoxious so I'm going to leave it alone because some things are better left alone get your fingers out of the artwork um, after you torch it's a good thing to leave things alone because once the surface is gummy you have a problem when you stick your finger in it and uh, I ought to know better and you should listen to me maybe not do what I do all right, I love you guys, and uh, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, Phew, finally did a wreath, wreath and it worked, and uh, it's kind of pretty. I like it. All my artwork is for sale, by the way. I do give classes at the uh, studio in Spring Hill, so if you'd like to inquire through YouTube, please be my guest, and I will send you an email, and we will have a chat. And um, I said I love you, so I'm going to say bye for now. Priscilla out.